have a question. How to convert units of pressure? Let's figure it out. In everyday life, we often come across the word pressure. For example, atmospheric pressure. It is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. In SI system, the unit of pressure is Pascal. 760 millimeters of mercury equals 101,325 Pascals. <laughs> Therefore, we can easily calculate that one millimeter of mercury is approximately 133.3 Pascals. What a pretty number. It isn't hard to remember it. And then when converting units of pressure, you won't need to divide such large numbers every time. Let's finally try to convert with examples. Convert 750 millimeters of mercury to Pascals. 750 must be multiplied by 133.3. We get 99,975 Pascals. Similarly, to convert 745 millimeters of mercury into Pascals, you need to multiply by 133.3. We get 99,308.5 Pascals. You probably already know that to solve problems we need to use SI units. It means that pressure must be written in the Pascals. However, there are often tasks where you need to convert to non-SI units. You may be asked to convert millimeters of mercury to hecto or kilo Pascals. If you have any problems doing this, we advise you to watch the third episode of this course. It tells about converting units to the SI system and vice versa. It's better to convert millimeters of mercury to hecto or kilo pascals in two steps. Firstly, convert into pascals and then into the desired unit of measurement according to several very easy rules, which you will learn from the third episode. Let's try to convert millimeters of mercury, firstly into hecto pascals and then into kilo pascals. 768 multiply by 133.3. We get 102,374.4 pascals. Now we will write this number in hectopascals. From the third episode, you should remember that, if we convert from the SI system, we change the sign of exponent in the multiplier of the prefix hecto. So we multiply our number by 10 to the negative second power. According to math rules, we get 1023.744 hectopascals. The answer can be rounded. So we get 1024 hectopascals. Similarly, let's convert to kilopascals we change the sign of the exponent in the multiplier of the prefix kilo. It means we multiply our number by 10 to the negative third power. And we get 102, and a pretty big decimal part. So let's better round this number. And we get 102 kilopascals. That's it. We are done with the unit's conversions. Woohoo! It's a great reason for a party. Wait. It's too early. We need to make reports, process all papers, Resistance is useless. Now try to convert units of pressure by yourself. At the same time, you'll practice converting different units of measurement once more. The answers to these tasks, as usual, can be found by the link in the description. Thanks for watching our course to the end.